yo, yo, what up, what up? Uh, currently out here in Lisbon, Portugal. And today, I wanna to talk about what makes you different and what you do. I feel like nowadays it's really hard to stay authentic in a world where everybody's just trying to copy each other's styles because they know it's really popular right now. And I think what makes you different is what's gonna make you stand out amongst the rest. Whether it be composition, sound design, or wicked crazy progressions, or your melodies, or or even just like vocal chops or the use of samples, whatever it may be, you always gotta like, you gotta figure out what sets you apart from everybody else. For me personally, it's sound design. I would like to think. Uh, for, in my style, my percussion patterns are very unique. Uh, they're very unique in the way that I like to compose things. And I feel like whenever people hear my tracks, they can hear my sound design instantly know that like it's one of my original tunes. So whatever it is that you got to do, uh, study is super hard. You always got to make yourself stand out amongst everybody else. Or else you're just going to sound like super generic and nobody's really going to like, like, yo, that track's hot. I always use the example Buku. Buku's really good with sound design and composition and like progressions. And every time you hear a track, by him, you'll even have to look at the title to know that it's one of his tracks because they're so unique, they always stand out. And to me, that's like true authenticity. Another way that you can really try and stand out is maybe dabble in different BPMs that a lot of other people aren't dabbling in right now. I know that dubstep's really big and famous right now, like 140 to 150 BPM kind of stuff. And that's why me personally, I've been writing a lot of like 80 to 90 BPM and I know 90 is really cracking off right now too. But uh, yeah, try different tempos because that's automatically going to make you sound different because of the rhythm pattern and like the swing and the groove of it. So try dabbling in that as well. Don't constrict yourself to BPMs that are just popular right now because that's constricting your creativity as well. And a side note, this is my first time in Europe and like this place is sick, man. It's so cool. Like the architect and uh, the culture out here. If you guys haven't ever been to Portugal, I highly recommend you guys checking it out. So, let's say you haven't really found your steez yet of what sets you out and makes you different. Um, let's go with maybe you're really good at graphic art or making videos or just doing something really creative that also intertwines with your, like, with your music. So, you can also use that as well to make yourself unique and stand out amongst the others. So, maybe if you're lacking with your music or if you're just starting right now, but you're really good at something else, then incorporate it into your music and then that can also like really make you shine amongst the rest because nowadays it's really hard to keep caught up with everybody because everybody's like a pretty good producer at this point. Like people are starting to like figure out production because it's so massively massively uh, popular right now that a lot of people are just good at just that. So maybe consider getting really good at like mixing, mastering, sound design, or making videos, or graphic art, whatever it may be, so you can incorporate that and then it'll make you stand out too. I have a lot of people send me music all the time, and it's not bad per se, but to me nowadays it just all kind of sounds the same. And it, it really hurts me to say that, but I feel like with, especially in electronic music, it's so overly produced and mass produced nowadays that it's all just kind of sounding generic and just the same as the next guy. And on that note, like you don't always have to make bangers either. Like I hear people that make really good and intricate music. And to me, that stands out way more than a banger would or just like a, show, a track that would go off at a show because it shows originality. It shows like uniqueness because a lot of people right now just think like, oh, you got to make the next like riot maker in order to like make it big, which isn't necessarily true. So just dabble in anything. Don't constrict yourself. Whatever it is that you have to do to stay 100% authentic, do it. And utilize it and like project it to the max because it will make you stand out. There's so much music out there and it's quote unquote noise because it's all just filtered out. Anybody who gets like Fruity Loops 10 or 20 at this point thinks that they're just like a great producer and they're just pumping out tracks hella quick. So nowadays it's really hard for our music to be seen or heard because it's being filtered through so much noise. And people are going through music and all the media so quick nowadays. Like people usually listen to a track for the first 15 to 25 seconds and then they'll skip it if they decide that like they don't like it or not. And that's why I always stress that um, intros are just as important as your drop because it captivates your listener and it keeps their attention in the beginning so you can hold it all the way down to the drop. So let's say you have a really strong brand 
but your music isn't necessarily up to par yet. I know at least for booking agents or even promoters or club bookers, if they see that you have a very strong brand, then that's going to set you apart from a lot of other producers or even DJs in your city. So whatever field that you're really doing that well in, just start projecting it even harder and then pick up the slack in the places where you're lacking. Don't try and like subdue your talents just so you can like sound like somebody else so you can get some attention. No, not at all. Keep it real, keep it 100, do exactly what you think is cool and don't try and mimic anybody else because that ultimately will make you stand out because we're all unique in our own ways. We really are. So once you captivate that uniqueness, whatever it may be, whatever skill or field that you're really talented in, just like amplify that times 1000 and then everybody else will start picking on. That's why I think like rhythm blew up super quick because somebody was like really weird and they made this really weird sound that was 100% them and they're like, yo, this is tight. And they started rinsing it out and people fell in love with it because it was so original, it was so authentic. And it was so different, people didn't hear it before. And that's why they fell in love with it so quick. So people will admire your creativity. They always will. And, and even if it's not like a bunch of people that admire it, there will always be certain few that really will. And those are like your diehard fans. Those are the ones that you really want to keep locked in. And those are the ones that will support your drive and your career to the fullest. Keep it real, keep it 100, and be authentic. And uh, yeah, figure out what makes you different than everybody else. So this is your boy Noai out here in Portugal, uh, Lisbon. And uh, yeah, this is the first tour date for the Backstreet Boys. And I think we are going to Italy next, or France. I'm not sure, but I just came to a dead end. But yo, this place is so sick. Uh, I love it. Anyways, yo, yeah, so since I'm out here on the road, I'm not going to be able to make as much music as I would like to. So what I think I'm going to do instead is I'm going to make vlogs for each city that I'm in so you guys can keep up to date and I can show you some cool, like, uh, some cool like, inspiring places and culture. So, yeah, hit me up if you got any questions, comments, or concerns, and let me know what makes you 100% off, off, <laughs> authentic and unique in your own way with your brand, sound design, melodies, progressions, composition, whatever it may be. Let me know what makes you stand out. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace, peace.